I recently made a poll on my community tab and apparently most of you guys prefer Bedrock over Java. That's probably because all of my videos are about Minecraft Bedrock, but today things are going to be different. Lunar Client is a Minecraft Java client that improves performance, has replay mod built in, and more. But recently, Lunar Client announced Hosted Worlds. Yeah, so if you didn't know, hosting worlds on Java was kind of hard, but now it couldn't be simpler. So today, I will teach you how to download Lunar Client, set it up to your liking, and of course, host worlds so you can play with your friends. Without further to do, let's begin. Of course, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to the Lunar Client website, lunarclient.com, and I will leave a link in the description below. So now that you're here, you're going to want to go ahead and click that big blue download button. Now it's going to bring you to this page and you're simply just going to select whatever device you have. So I have a Windows, so I'm going to click download where it says Windows and it should start the installation. Now simply double tap on the file you just downloaded and it should open the Lunar Client setup. And OK, now just click I agree and it should start installing. Now you will be greeted with this page in the actual Lunar Client app. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the version from 1.7.10, which is probably not the default, it was just what I was using earlier, to 1.20.1, and I'm just going to use Fabric so we can use Replay Mod. Okay, now just click Launch, and keep in mind, this will take about 5 to 10 minutes. So now it should start opening Minecraft. And there we go. So now Minecraft has opened, and it should look like this. Now just click single player and log in with your Microsoft account. Keep in mind Lunar Client is safe, and if you log in and it does not work, don't worry. Just reopen Lunar Client and it should work. Now there is a whole lot of customization to be done with Lunar Client. So let's start by going into the normal settings. I'm going to change my FOV to around 100. Now let's go to the music and sounds. I don't like music, so I'm just going to turn it off. The rest, I'll just leave the master volume at 50%. Okay, now video settings. As you can see, the video settings are different from normal Minecraft. So, make sure the max frame rate is set to 260, aka unlimited. Now, we can mess around with the brightness. This is a mod that lets you have a lot of brightness. And in the simulation uh, chunks, I'm just going to leave it at about 10, because then it won't lag my game. Now let's head up here to quality and over here make sure your smooth lighting is on. It makes it so much better and that's basically all we can do in quality. Over here is where you can see your resource packs. Of course we have the lunar and default selected and yeah that's basically it. Now let's get to the good part, the world hosting. So I'm going to click on single player and then I'm going to create a new world. Alright time to name this world. I'm just going to name it hosting because that's what we're doing. We're hosting a world. And now I'm just going to click create new world because I don't want to mess with any of the settings. Once we are inside of our world, as you can see, everything looks fairly normal. So to actually start actually hosting the world so our friends can join, we need to have our friends friended. So I'm going to click shift plus tab and here you can see there are all my friends, all the friends I've sent a request to and over here you can type in whatever name or username you want and if that person has Lunar Client you can add them and simply just invite them to your world. But of course our world isn't being hosted so how do we actually host it so we can invite our friends in the first place? Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click escape and right here click host world. Now it's pretty straightforward. Game mode, survival, allow cheats, I'm going to turn that off. The difficulty, I'm going to set that to normal. And I'm going to make it not invite only, but friends, so all of my friends can join. Auto host, I'm going to turn that on, so whenever I join, my friends can join too. I'm going to make the max slots 8, and boom, now my friends can join. 
All right, so now if I click shift tab again, I will be able to see everyone who is online. But if I click on my friends, I can also chat with them. So if I say hi, he, my friend will get the message and he can reply too. Now for the more advanced features of Lunar Client. So I'm going to go ahead and join Hypixel so I can show you how, would, how Lunar Client would look like in an actual server. So now that I am in Hypixel, you guys are probably wondering, how do we actually access the replay mod, the built-in replay mod that I told you guys at the start of the video? Well, it's actually really simple, and replay mod just recently got added along with the hosted worlds. So it's one simple key. Just click right shift on your keyboard, so the right, not the left shift, and boom, you will get into this menu. It says mods, we have the lunar emotes, lunar cosmetics, it's very interesting. So let's go ahead and click mods and oop there it is and also ju let's just scroll down and see look at how many different things we have you have the nick hider just a bunch just a bunch bunch really of cool stuff okay so here's replay mod if i click enable so now replay mod is enabled but here's where things get really cool you can customize the ui so this ui that i'm using is completely custom i kind of customized it i turned on clicks per second but hey look i can turn on armor status and it will show there um i don't know what half of this stuff does there's just a lot but i can like start making stuff bigger making stuff smaller putting stuff where i want it to be it's really cool okay so we're back in our world now let's actually test replay mod how does it work well it's super simple so firstly i just wanted to show you guys that you can still mess around with all the stuff by clicking uh, right shift even if you're not in a server so you can mess around with all your mods and everything anyway all you have to do is click escape and right here you will see two buttons start recording and resume recording of course you can't click resume recording because we're not recording it so let's just click start recording now I'm just going to do some random stuff, like jump up here, break some leaves, go on top of here. Oh, it's very leggy. So now I'm just going to end off by chopping this tree, and I'll show you how to stop recording. Alright, so to stop recording, just click escape again, and click stop recording. Now I'm just going to save and quit, and boom. As you can see on the top, it'll say saving replay file, and now I can even name it. And I'm just going to name it YouTube. But now, how do we see all of our replays? So, down here, you'll see lots of buttons. And one of these buttons is, of course, the replay viewer. So just click on that, and right here on the top, click on the replay, and then click on load. Boom, now it looks like we're in spectator mode, and we can go around like a camera. And as you can see, it says you, and we can see my little guy doing whatever I was doing. Now, of course, I'm not going to go too deep into how replay mod works, but if you want a full video, a tutorial on how replay mod works, subscribe. But seriously, guys, replay mod is so cool, especially now that it's in Lunar Client. And there you have it, folks. We installed Lunar Client, configured the settings to our liking, we hosted a world so that all of our friends could join, configured our UI and mods, and finally, we tested out replay mod. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want more of this content, subscribe, like, comment, join my Discord server, follow my Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.